Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything. As long as we use logic and common sense. In Season 4, we learned a few basic definitions for some real virtues. And this season, we'll be trying to pin down the real meanings of some things that people treat like virtues, which aren't always virtuous. In other words, fake virtues. Today's fake virtue is... Niceness. The first step to understanding why niceness is not a real virtue is to learn what precisely it means to be nice, and what makes it different from goodness and kindness. As we discussed in episode 43, goodness just means acting more like how God acts, and as we said in episode 48, kindness is largely about being generous, warm-hearted, and understanding. What's niceness, by contrast? Being nice, when the word is used today, means being delightful, agreeable, and inoffensive. And this is already problematic, because people can often be offended by any viewpoint they happen to disagree with. Therefore, in order to be truly nice, one needs to never utter any viewpoint which others could disagree with. And there is no behavior pattern that could possibly be more destructive to virtue than that. You can't stand up for the truth if you can't even speak it for fear of offending somebody. Now, there is absolutely nothing wrong with speaking the truth politely. I do it myself, as often as I think it'll help. However, using good manners doesn't prevent you from having an unpopular viewpoint or speaking a truth that people don't like to hear. Being nice will prevent both of these things. As if that's not enough of a reason to avoid worrying about whether or not you're nice, there's another key fact about the word nice, which you might not have realized. As recently as the 1200s, the word meant something more like foolish, stupid, and senseless when it was commonly used. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.